Hello everyone, good evening, and this is Terry, and this is going to be a very brief work of the day video. Fairly late in the evening, and I just wanted to show a little look of, a little quick look uh, at my Anglicoids. And I've got a couple new ones that I want to let you know about, if I can find them <clears throat> along the way. So of course this is my big crest wood, which you can see it's got nice growth the leaves are nice and green no brown root tips on it this is a hybrid um, I'm still waiting to see some new roots coming out but these little babies that are coming out there let me come around to this side are very encouraging you can see that it is growing by this different change in the color same as this that you can see same as this same as this you can see how it's elongating these are crosses that I've had all winter I got them towards the end of winter um, in Greg of Linwood crossed with Cespasquidale there is a name for that something I don't know I'm not even gonna try to guess but these are both the same plant really growing really nice. This is a cross that I've had for a few years. This is a Eburnum crossed with George Kennedy, which is another Eburnum cross. Uh, this back here is my Eclariana. Nice root tips. It is probably not liking the fact that, you know, we've been getting a lot of water and rain and the rain probably collects there and that's the black spots. But it is growing okay. Nice roots, big fat stem. In front here is one of my Angregum Magdalenis, which is blooming size. Did not bloom this year, but it was recently repotted. That is a species from Madagascar, of course. The ones that I, well, that's a hybrid. Well, these are hybrids. Okay, but this is the queen of the Angricoids. The king is right here. This is my Suspis Guadali, which I am really fully expecting it to die. Honestly, I've repotted it and it just hasn't really done much. There's no leaves coming up, I don't know. It lost some of its leaves in the, in the winter after the repot. It actually fell out onto the floor, so it had to be repotted and it's sulked every since, which is fairly typical of blooming sized angricoids. My other king is here. I finally ended up filling it with some That is, uh, you know, that is, I just can't think of it right now. I'm looking at it and can't think of it. But it, that will give it a lot, a little more moisture. It actually was bare root. And this was re repotted as well. I don't think any of them will survive. Although, you know, because these are typically famous for their very slow death. And I'm not sure if there's a leaf coming out there as well. But let's move on. That is the species, the king and the queen right here. So here is a fairly new plant. This is Vigliere crossed, a Gregum Vigliere that is crossed with Eranthes caudata. And this is a cross that is at um, orchids.com, orchids limited, not orchids.com, orchids limited. And uh, this should be close to blooming size. I do believe uh, Aranthes don't get too big. They are fairly small plants. Um, and Vigriere, that is blooming size. So we'll see what that looks like if I ever bloom it. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Now, this is one that really has been off and on. It's lost some leaves, but it does look like it's putting up roots. And you can see the change in the color, like I've been saying, fairly similar. And so this is all new, new. This is Lady Lisa, which is Magdalena times Scottianum. I've had this, it was repotted, and it's put up all that new, it's been trying to put up new, what I thought was a spike, I'm not sure, maybe I jinxed it. Um, I think that is, might be it for my Angricoids on this rack. And I know I have an Angricoid right here. This is a Jumelia. Um, is it Jumelia Puntata 
and it, it's doing really well. It's like all the rain that we've gotten. These are really uh, almost like swamp orchids. It is just planted in. It's it's in sphagnum moss. That is going away, so that is not counting. That is my justicta that is on its way out. I'm sure. Now this is a rescue. This is a um, this is another angricoid. This is angricum infundibulare. No, this is Spiritamense. Um, it's either Spiritamense or Infundibulare, but it was a piece that fell off and it was very wrinkled and crinkly, but you can see how firm it is now. It's just clipped onto the basket with moss and the roots are in the moss. Just hanging out there and it has plumped itself up. Thank you, yes. So that is a good thing because that was like a stick. So that's been rescued. Okay, let's look for more so I can get on because I got I got things to do. Um, I know that I got two over here that I did a video on. Here they are across. These are the two if you didn't see the video. There is one up. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Those are the cross. The cross. Right next to here, this is my Aranthes. No. Aranthes. Kachikiana with the spike. And this is that cross, Erangus Victoria Nile, which it did the spike blast and I moved it over here in some more shade, but the leaves on that, the foliage look excellent. So I'm not, I'm not mad about it. I'm not mad at all. And moving on down to, this is Spencer Alonso, Spencer Aloysius gave me this. This is Yechi. It's a kiki, this was the main plant. And now I have a veichi, yay. Now, moving on down really quickly here, here's my other magdalenae. That is just a small magdalenae, but it is acclimating and doing very well. I am very happy to say, this is my Langeris that bloomed for me in the winter time. Very beautifully scented, beautiful bloomer. Back here I have my uh, Tertorchus cross. Right there that bloomed last year. It hasn't, didn't bloom yet. Hopefully it will, this beautiful fragrant. And here I have two small, I think these are Lady Lisa's as well. Yeah, Lady Lisa, the one that's over there. But these are mounted. There's two of those. Um, Back here, this is my Infundibulare. I know that's mounted. And back here are some new plants. If I can remember where I put them. Okay, um, one is hanging up above and it is, I passed it right here. This is a Jumelia comorensis which is liking this spot. It was actually in bloom when I got it. I've had it probably a few, couple months out here since it's been outside. And I put, add a little moss to it and it's it sits up here in the shade. Uh, really liking it. it. Hasn't flowered for me, but it came in flower. Um, and there's one more that I got. And then I will be out of your hair and it's up here. This will be probably my last attempt at Ioniella polystachia, which is a species angricoid, and that is brand new. Um, here's an angricoid that I have, which is really going well. Let's figure out get some spikes. Down here is my Aranthes grandiflora, which you can see has nice roots coming up. Really nice growing. Behind here is my Modesta, Rangus Modesta, which I will probably mount that at some point. And let's see here. I'll finish it off here with this Sobinacophia, which I have it's just put up that new, new leaf and I am going to get it acclimated onto this mount. I promise. And that's my amber cords. I can't think of any that I missed. 
Here's one that I missed. This is my uh, longest gut, which is bursted out with roots. You can see there's some and there's another one out the front. Still waiting on a leaf to come up there, but I am satisfied. And everyone, thanks for watching. Enjoy your orchids.